now we will now we will talk about the question number 10 ok. Now what is this question please pay attention over here Saloni took a piece of burning charcoal ok and collected the gas evolved in a test tube. Again I am repeating the question Saloni took a piece of burning charcoal and collected the gas evolved in the test tube. Now see after this again two questions are asked how will she find the nature of the gas and B is write down word equations of all the reactions taking place in this process ok. See similar way not exactly the same one but we have done before also. So I will just solve that one before over here you will understand better ok. Uh, if you remember we have done this with sulphur if you remember please try to recall I told you that if we burn the sulphur ok burn the sulphur in a jar and we will cover it so that the fumes will also get collected ok. First of all what is burning sulphur burning means it is going to react with oxygen. So, what will be formed whenever metals and non-metals they burn they form their oxides. So, sulphur dioxide will be formed yes now if this sulphur dioxide this gas which is collected over here if it is dissolved in water dissolved in water means what reaction with H2O then what will be formed H2SO3 will be formed means H2H2SO3 means sulfurous acid will be formed and in this solution if blue litmus paper ok blue litmus paper is taken then what will happen it will get converted into red litmus paper ok what does this proves that this is which kind of oxide these are acidic oxide if you remember this that all non metals all non metals they give basic or acidic what non metals give what acidic oxides yes what we did we have burned sulfur burned means it is reacting with oxygen. So, what will be formed sulfur dioxide will be formed and sulfur dioxide is reacting with water. So, what is formed H 2 SO 3 is formed and what is H 2 SO 3 it is sulfurous acid and we will just apply the litmus test over there blue litmus paper if it is added to that. So, uh, what will happen that litmus paper is going to get converted into red litmus paper. What does it proves when the paper is turning to red it proves that this a it proves that this is what acidic oxide this is what acidic oxide all non metals they give acidic oxides. See now this question is exactly similar to this one here also they are talking they are saying that they have burnt charcoal they have burnt charcoal which is again what it is non metal. If it is non metal it is again going to produce acidic oxides ok just we have to do the reactions what is going to form. So, first of all what they are saying 
they are saying that Saloni took a piece of burning charcoal. Charcoal has got what? Carbon. Okay. Now carbon is burning. Now when carbon burns, what is going to be formed? Carbon dioxide will be formed. Okay. So I will write here carbon burns with like reacts with oxygen. So what will be formed? Carbon dioxide will be formed. Okay. Now again how it has to be done again the charcoal has to be burned in one jar where the gas can be collected same way. Okay. Here charcoal is kept it is burning it is covered. So what will happen? The gas will get collected over there. Now this carbon dioxide is dissolved in water then what will happen here? Carbon dioxide if when dissolved in water so what will be formed? H2 CO3 will be formed which is what? Carbonic acid. It is what? It is carbonic acid. Again if we apply the same te test over here that means if blue litmus paper if blue litmus paper is taken it is going to get converted into what? Red litmus paper it is going to get converted into red litmus paper. See charcoal is what? Charcoal has got what? It has got carbon. Okay. Now carbon is what? It is non-metal. Non-metal always produces acidic oxides. When carbon is reacting with oxygen it means when it is burning it is reacting with oxygen. So what is formed? Carbon dioxide is formed. When I have written here carbon plus oxygen give rise to carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide when it is collected in this jar and is allowed to be dissolved in water what will be formed? Carbonic acid will be formed. So I will write over here also carbon dioxide plus water give rise to what? Carbonic acid. Now this carbonic acid is formed in this if blue litmus paper is uh, kept for a minute, few minutes, few seconds then what will happen? It will get converted into red litmus paper. This proves that the nature of the gas is what? Which kind of gas is this? Oxide is this? It is acidic. What is the question? How will she find the nature of the gas? Now write down the word equations of all the reactions taking place in this process. One more thing I would like to tell you how can we say that carbon dioxide gas is released. So if it is this gas which is collected is passed to lime water. So what will happen? It will turn if it will turn to milky white. Yes it will turn to milky white this will again prove that this gas is carbon dioxide. Is it clear? Okay. So this was about the 10th question. Now I am going to read 11th question. I suppose this is the last question of this NCRT. Okay. So hope whatever we have solved today you are going to understand that it properly and we will after this I am not going to end up with the questions we are going to solve the questions from some other textbooks also or not exactly the textbook but also the questions which can be framed from the chapters. As I told you in the beginning only as many as questions you will solve it will be good for you it is going to increase your confidence regarding the chapter. So just we will talk about few more questions.
this is the last question of NCRT. Now, this is the last question, question number 11. One day Rita went to a jeweler's shop, okay. One day Rita went to a jeweler's shop with her mother. Her mother gave old gold jewelry to the goldsmith to polish. What is the meaning of goldsmith? Smith, the one who deals in making of gold jewelries. Okay. So one day Rita went to a jeweler's shop with her mother. Her mother gave old gold jewelry to the goldsmiths, go, sorry, goldsmith to polish. Next day, when they brought the jewelry back, they found that there was a slight loss in the weight. Can you suggest a reason? for the loss in weight. See they are talking about that they are saying what they are saying they are saying that they gave the gold jewelry old gold jewelry uh, for polishing even we do yes very often in every one or the other house it has been done that due to some function or some one or the other reason the old jewelries are given to the goldsmith so that they can polish it and after polishing it again looks like the new jewelry and it becomes uh, like it gives a good look ok. So it is being done in general. So what happened this Rita she went with her mother and he, she did the same thing she gave the jewelry old jewelry to the goldsmith just for the polishing purpose. But when they got the jewelry back and they weigh, weighed it. So, what was found? It was found that the weight was little less. So, what had actually happened over there? So, see children, there is a solution called aqua regia. There is a solution called aqua regia. I have not discussed this thing in the chapter. So, let me explain you. This is the freshly prepared mixture. What it is? It is the freshly prepared mixture of three part of hydrochloric acid concentrated and one part of HNO3. Let me write this what is aqua regia? It is a highly corrosive It is a highly corrosive as well as fuming reagent. What is the meaning of fuming? Fumes comes out which is which is which is a freshly freshly prepared mixture of three part of concentrated HCl and one part of I should write part also because I have not explained this thing in the uh, topic. So, it can be it can be a new thing for you three parts of concentrated HCl plus one part of concentrated HNO3. 
Now what is this HNO3? HNO3 is nitric acid. And what is HCl? We all know this is hydrochloric acid. Okay. And what is the speciality of this uh, reagent? What is the speciality of this reagent that special character is what? It is able to or we can say that even the gold and platinum such kind of metals also get dissolved in this kind of reagent ok. So, I will explain you once again gold and even platinum get dissolved in this solution ok. See this part was not there in the chapter. So, I will explain you once again over here what is aqua regia? It is a highly corrosive as well as fuming region that means it is very just imagine if the gold get dissolved in this solution just think about that how fuming or how strong this reagent will be or would be ok and how it is ma made it is prepared by the three parts. What is three parts? Three parts of concentrated hydrochloric acid and one part of concentrated nitric acid is taken. It is a freshly prepared mixture of these two things and what is the most important characteristic of this that the special characteristic is what? That even the gold and platinum get dissolved in this solution ok. Now, come back to the question. What was the question that when Rita went with her mother to the goldsmith shop to uh, give some old jewelry for polishing purpose and when they got back their jewelry they found that the weight was little less. So, what can be one reason that the goldsmith has used aquaregia for you know just to remove the uh, little amount of gold now from that and so that he can use that gold afterwards can sell and can make money. So, this was the answer for the last question of the NCRT. Hope you would have understood all the questions of NCRT. So, now we will solve some other questions which is going to help you to increase your confidence. So, the next one is